Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man. Back with a blog, man. Make sure that like button, that subscribe button, anyway, and I appreciate all the support, man. Back on another road trip headed to the West Coast, man. Headed to the West Coast. I don't know why I took this run. Don't do not ask me why I took this run. I got bamboozled, man. I got bamboozled into this. But anyway, man, um, headed to the West Coast, man. I'm in Mississippi right now. Shout out to everybody in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? I'm passing through. But uh, I got to talk to you about Charlie Clips versus Rosenberg Raw. When I tell you this battle, bro, this battle is so entertaining, bro. It's entertaining. It's surprising. It's spontaneous. It's, uh, bro, this battle is one of them ones, man. And, um, you know, the third round of this battle was very, very interesting, man. I'm going to get to that in a minute. We, do, we don't see many battles like this battle right here. We do not see many battles. I'm going to explain that in a minute. So, in the beginning... You know, obviously, Clips couldn't freestyle. Or he was talking about he couldn't freestyle. I felt like he snuck a couple in there. I gotta keep it real with you. But, you know, he pretty much did stick to what ARP has said. Like, yo, I'm gonna put it in your contract. You was bullshitting in the Danny Myers battle. You was bullshitting in the Jazz battle. You messing up the promo. I'm trying to promote the battle. Now, niggas don't want to see you no more. This is supposed to be Rosenberg Raw, biggest battle. I need you to promise me that you will do three rounds, uh no freestyles and that's pretty much what happened man he gave you three rounds i felt like he might have snuck in freestyles here and there but at the end of the day his first round his first round started off with a bunch of bird flips some of them was good he had the heisenberg breaking bad battle he had you know i don't need five guys to put you in the er bird you know he had like simple shit that wasn't really super crazy let's just keep it real um but at the end of the day he flipped the name out of a uh, frozen bird rosenberg all that kind of stuff he flipped the name flipped the hell out of his name in the first round um he ended his round with like a cinco de mayo pico de gallo kind of bar um, obviously Cinco de Mayo's this weekend. It was fitting and that bar was kind of good. So he had a, he had a solid first round. Scale to one to ten, his round was probably no better than like a six and a half, seven. You know what I'm saying? Rosenberg, in my opinion, came out snapping in the first round. He criticized clips for like, yo, when I praise you, you do your thing. When I don't praise you, you be crying online. Um he said had bars like I be I be on ice, but never in my life was I cool running. I like that bar. He said something about I'm A D. He was talking about how like niggas think I'm playing and shit. Niggas think I ain't really about that action. He said, I'm just like A D. Soon as you think I'm playing, then I pull something. That bar was crazy, bro. Soon as you think I'm playing, then I pull something. You know how A D is like every other game, you do his thing. He has some shit about hitting clips or whatever. He said, I double plate your shit like a bar like you had a barbecue. Bro, you know how you be at the barbecue and you have your ribs and your macaroni and cheese and your damn potato salad and you got to double plate the plate because it'd be so much stuff hanging off. I would double plate the shit like you had a barbecue. The nigga said the doctor was by your side. Your mama was traumatized. He was good at first, but he wasn't the same after I heated him up like McDonald's fries. I like that bar, too. He wasn't the same after I heated after I heated him up like McDonald's fries. He had a Dylan Brooks bar. Um. I like raw first round. You know what I'm saying? I heard some niggas talking about the first round was debatable. I'm sorry. Like, them them, them ER flips was not enough. Rosenberg raw won the first to me. Clips in the second round talked about raw style. He did what he did versus twerk. You know how he was like, you know, talking about twerk style. He'll say this and he'll say this and then y'all will love it. Basically, he was basically saying, like, oh, all you do is say some, some funny shit and throw in like an NFL player. And then... Um, it's supposed to be hot and he did a couple examples and examples were spot on they was funny they was good um he had a little rose jalen rose molly flip you know what i'm saying like molly from first take that was cool you not from philly he had a bunch of you not from philly you're not from philly because you can't text me meal you can't call gilly you can't do this do this he ends it with you not from philly because you can't run up them steps like like in a rocky movie that shit was kind of funny i can't front but that was his second round Rosenberg Raw second round, bro. Rosenberg Raw second round. Maybe one of the best Rosenberg rounds I've ever heard. Rosenberg Raw second round. Boy, that nigga went kind of crazy on clips in the, in the second round. Nigga said he was naming a bunch of guns, and then he said, I throw them all in one bag like, like a party mix. That shit was fire. He had a snowfall bar that was that was that was dope. He said I sold so much coat. Niggas thought I was competing with Pepsi. I like that bar. Um, 
you may not, you know, I may not get the respect like 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 Nitty, but you're not gonna disrespect me like I'm Gwitty. That shit was funny. The nigga was talking about clips is not street. Like you not hood, you not street, you not this, you not that. He said the closest you get to the street is the bike lane. That bar was crazy, bro. He was basically saying you live in Harlem, you live in the hood, but you ain't really street. The closest you get to the street is the bike lane. That shit was funny. The nigga said something about um you pissed me off talking about my freckles, like I can do something, like I can't do anything about it. And then the nigga flipped it and was like, I can't do anything about it, like your dad is a snitch. Basically saying your dad is a snitch and you can't do nothing about it. I got freckles and I can't do nothing about it. That shit bothered the shit out of clips, bro. I'm not going to front. Every time niggas talk about and he didn't stay on the snitch shit too long. Like he, he had like a couple bars. He was off it because it was towards the end of his round. You could tell. The fact that Clips couldn't freestyle, you could actually tell it bothered the hell out of him because he knew he couldn't just go in off the top and go crazy on it. But so that was the second round, bro. I gave Raw the second round. I already got Raw up 2-0. I already got Raw up 2-0. But the, this, this is something we don't see in battle rap much. Charlie Clips' third round is one of the best rounds the nigga might have ever spit, bro. In one, one of the one of the best third rounds that I literally have seen a battler spit, split, I'm, split, spit. You know what I'm saying? So he starts talking about this story about Raw, you know, wanting to battle on URL. I ain't gonna lie, I heard that story too. You know what I'm saying? I actually spoke to P and P was telling me that, you know, P, you know, they, they be talking to the to the Mac Myers, the Chef Trezes, you know, the Big K's or whatever. And he had told me about a conversation he had with Raw where he was trying to get Raw over to URL, seeing if he wanted to battle, and from everything, well, honestly, what he told me, he told me that easy to block captain kind of facilitated, like, yo, Raw might be interested in coming to URL, that's what he told me, I don't know how true that is, that's what he told me, and he basically said that they had a conversation, nothing was said, nothing was really done or said about it, like, yo, I'm one, we gonna do this, this, and this, this, and this, and Raw basically nixed the deal. I kind of got an idea why he nixed the deal because it was told to me why he nixed the deal. I'm not going to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like private messages and stuff like that. But he nixed the deal. But the thought, from what I heard, he did have a thought. I got to keep it real. Yeah, I, I, love, I, I love you, Rosenberg Raw, but I, you, you had a thought, my nigga. You had a thought. Somehow, Clips must have got a hold of that message, a text message. I don't want him. P could have gave it to him for all I know. P could have gave him screenshots of the text messages or something. I don't know. But he had this whole angle about Raw not loyal. He really wanted to go to URL. You keep fucking with this nigga. You keep booking this nigga. Um, he went on all into that. Uh, but even, hold up, even before that, he was talking about all the people you talk crazy about. And he was talking about you talk crazy about. Uh, polo but then later you be saying you just horsing around that shit was kind of funny talk about geeshi he flipped that into the user bitch shit that shit was crazy then he then he did a swear to god you didn't try to get on url and the way he set that up was so clever because he was like yo i can't freestyle but during my second round i sent you the text messages the way he set it up bro amazing fucking amazing the way this nigga clips set up his third round and ARP read the messages. The look on ARP face <laughs> had that you motherfucker look. And uh, it was a crazy third. I'm not going to lie. Rosenberg Raw had a pretty decent third round. But Clips took the air out the room, bro. Clips took the air out the room with his third round. Rosenberg Raw had an Iverson bar, practice bar with the Chuck shit. Because, you know, Iverson name is Chuck, like nickname and shit. He had a step over the body like Draymond. He had current event bars mixed with other stuff. His third round was flat. It was crickets. I can kind of tell he probably got a little frustrated with his third because it really wasn't getting no reaction. He was getting a lot of love in the building to Clips. Basically sucked all the energy from this nigga with that third round. And this was one of the rounds where Clips' third is so powerful. Like, it's powerful, like, damn near, like, on some verb, hitman shit, Lux, Clip, Lux, uh, calico shit like he got a powerful third that's damn near like it kind of body bag raw a little bit in the third round like it was like damn because he kind of fucked you up you hear niggas talking about oh you not loyal chef trez i mean 
show off tried the same thing with Chef Trez. Like, oh, you not loyal. You signed a URL deal with with you signed a deal with URL after um ARP gave you all them battles. The way Clips executed it, amazing, bro. Amazing. But I kind of judge battles by rounds. I gotta keep it real with you. So if I'm being honest, Raw did win the first two rounds. Clips won the third. But see, I see niggas, I see niggas only giving Raw the second. I see niggas saying the first is debatable. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, bro. Raw first is Raw first is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But Clips got the kind of third round and make you be like, yo, I'm only coming to watch this battle for the second and third round. Like that's all like you kind of need to hear the third, the second, to, and lead it into the third. He has one. Clips got one of them battles right now where you're going to come back to his third round over and over and over again. Crazy battle, bro. Crazy fucking battle. But if I'm being honest, Raw, Raw won the first two rounds. Clips won the third. But Jesus, that, that third round by Clips. Oh, my God. Holla at your boy.